Assalamualaikum and good day Today I want to start uh, with a new lesson in chapter 2 And the topic is FET DC Biasing okay. This topic actually you have learned some of the techniques To analyze the circuit uh, from the analog 1 And this is a, a continuity from the analog one however all the devices that will be used in this chapter is only for jfet demosfet and emosfet but the knowledge also the same knowledge that you will use from what you have learned in analog electronic one Okay, before we start, I want to recall the important relationship okay, for the JFET and DMOSFET, also for the EMOSFET. Okay, remember that what we get from the characteristic of uh, this transistor, all resist resistor, uh, transistor has a uh, same IG which is IG equal to 0 and also the same ID and IS where ID is equal to IS however for the JFET and DMOSFET only we'll use Shockley equation this one is Shockley equation because of the curve transfer curve that we obtain from the transfer characteristic Okay, the curve is in parabolic curve and it's similar or we can convert it using Shockley equation. So, the equation is ID equal to IDSS multiply with 1 minus VGS divided by VP squared. Okay, and for the, MOS, for the E MOSFET, okay, the difference uh, is at the equation because it no longer used the uh, Shockley equation okay because the curve that we get is not similar with the JFET and DMOSFET so it has its own equation the equation is ID equal to K multiplied with VGS minus with VT squared okay and it has a one condition which is VGS must be greater than the VT okay and VT is a threshold voltage for the transistor to be uh, on and one uh, here is a K okay K is equal to ID on divided by VGS on minus with VT and squared okay now we go to the first topic in this chapter which is JFET DC biasing. In JFET DC biasing, there is a lot of circuit configuration. So this is the first one which is the fixed bias configuration. How we want we can know uh, what type of circuit configuration this is the fixed bias so we can uh, determine the fixed bias by checking the supply here okay for the fixed bias there is a vdc supplies which is vgg and it connected to the rg normally rg value is uh, quite large in mega ohm okay and vgg is apply negative supply here if we are using n channel jfet okay so to start with the dc uh, biasing and dc analysis in this chapter please take note that you should remember that in dc analysis in DC analysis capacitor okay all the capacitor 
will be open circuit okay will be open circuit and v in okay automatically is removed from the circuit okay so you have to draw the equivalent circuit for the dc equivalent circuit for the dc okay so the equivalent circuit for the dc you can see that only this part okay after we remove the capacitor and also v in and v out because v out is ac v in is ac element okay we go to the first example here okay normally in dc uh, analysis okay we want to find the first thing is either idq which is the id current and also vgs okay after we get this current and voltage then we can find other voltages such as vds vdg vg vs and uh, etc and many more you can find okay so we need to find for this one we need to find the vgsq and idq first okay so how we want to uh, answer the quest this question okay if you refer to the this figure okay it give you the idss value and vp so from this uh, parameter we know that actually this is a n channel jfet because of the vp is in negative okay and uh, jfet has idss okay so to solve this uh, question we need to use a uh, shockley equation okay to solve the equation to get the id actually okay we want to get id q and vgs q okay to solve the question okay actually there are two method that we can use the first one is mathematical method that i will use right now and then the later one okay is a uh, graphical method so i show you the mathematical method first okay i show you step by step how to answer uh, or how to get the id and vgs vgs value okay so every time you see the circuit okay here remember that you must convert this circuit into dc equivalent circuit so i already draw uh, the new dc equivalent circuit like this can you spot what is a different okay from the previous uh, the first circuit here and the new circuit here okay now uh, actually the here okay the rg value okay is already shorted here okay because its value is really big in mega ohm normally in mega ohm and it makes actually and we know that at ig at g the ig equal the current equal to zero so when the current equal to zero it seems like here uh, at the resistance actually uh, it seems like no current and also no voltage here so we can use the short circuit here okay then remember that every time you see the rg for the dc equivalent circuit only okay please make it short here okay then uh, the rest is uh, same Okay, except I change here the 16 volt to be like this. Okay, 
this is uh, 16 volt positive and I change to this form okay okay now we want to find the equation for uh, for the circuit fixed bias here so what we want to find is actually the VGS okay VGS okay every time I say the equation for the circuit so it means this is for the VGS okay VGS is here VGS okay so the loop is inside okay here now the equation become positive VGG okay this is VGG positive VGG okay plus VGS equal to zero you see there is nothing here okay no resistance in at s okay so equal to zero then vgs equal to negative vgg so this is the equation for vgs then the shockley equation for jeffet here shockley equation for jeffet so remember that the question gave you IDSS and VP. So we use this to, un, uh, to complete the equation. IDSS is 10 milliampere and 1 minus VGS. Okay, VGS. And also VP is negative 8. V. Okay. So this is actually the equation for the JFET. Then uh this one is equation number two and vgs is equation number one okay it uh make it easier for you to understand okay so can you see there is a vgs okay inside the id here so you can solve this equation actually by insert equation number one into equation number two so what is the value of the vgg the value of the vgg is now negative 2 you can get from the circuit here and here so rewrite again this equation it mean 2 milliampere 1 minus a uh, negative 2 divided by negative 8 and squared okay you can solve this equation Actually, okay, so I already calculate, so I get 5.625 milliampere for the ID. So, actually, this is the IDQ. When we get uh, the value for ID, okay, here, we 5.6925 milliampere and we get the VGS is negative 2 volt. Okay, now we want to find uh, another answer for the VDS, VD, VG and VS. So, let's take a look at the at this diagram in this circuit. Okay, first VDS. So, where is VDS? VDS is here. VDS is at terminal D and S. Okay, so for the KVL, you can make a loop from the ground. Okay, from the ground goes to um, RD here, IDRD. Okay, means that um, negative VDD plus IDRD plus VDS. Okay, because we want to uh, find VDS. So this is the equation negative VDD plus IDRD plus VDS equal to zero. And we solve uh, this equation by inserting the ID and VGS uh, ID value here. So the ID is 5.625 milliampere. So finally we get VDS is 4.75. Okay, we already get here. VDS is 4.75. Now for the VD for the VD okay where you measure VD okay Me VD is here at D terminal 
two ground. Okay, now we have two ground. This is the first ground and this is the second ground. So actually, the voltage value for for these two um, in a two uh, direction is actually same. Okay, if we measure from here to this ground, so its value actually same with the uh, from this D to the ground. So you can choose any loop you want either at this side or this side. Okay, so I just take from this one. Uh, negative VDD plus ID RD plus VD until here on the VD. Okay, so here the question negative VDD plus ID RD plus VD. Okay, equal to zero. Okay, now when I uh, insert the ID value here, then I calculate. Okay, now the value is same with the VDS. Why? This is because of the S here, S value equal to 0. Okay, because at S there is no resistor, so the voltage is 0. So, another uh, method, okay, you want to check whether the answer is correct or not. Okay, you see, oh, sorry. Okay, whether this is correct or not. Okay, there is a VDS. Okay, VDS equal to VD minus VS. Okay, VDS equal to VD minus VS. And uh, VDS we know is 4.75 equal to VD minus 0. So, the answer is now... VD equal to 4.75. So, it proved that above method is same with uh, below. Okay, with this one. Okay, you can choose either you want to calculate uh, using the loop KVL here or you want to calculate like this.